there are 15 face masks that can be unlocked in Tom Clancy's The Division. Three of which can be unlocked outside of the global offense and 12 during the global offense. Stick around to find out how you can unlock each face mask. Before we're getting into the good stuff, I realize you may not have the time to watch the entire video. So, for you busy guys and girls, there is a link in the description to an image I made with every single mask and how to unlock them. Another side note, most activities require you to play on world tier 5 and with a minimum difficulty of hard or yeah, higher. In this video, we're going through the mask per event or non-event, because they're not all event related. Each category has three masks and we're starting with the non-event related masks. Non-global event. We're starting off with the Stygian face mask and the objective is that you need to kill 500 in survival, 5 in resistance and 500 in the underground to unlock this mask. It's fairly simple to acquire. Next up is the Sting face mask. It's similar to the Stygian face mask but with yellow stripes on it. And you need to kill a total of 100 hunters in the underground survival or resistance. It doesn't matter which mode this is. And thirdly, it's a shady face mask which is similar to the Stygian face mask but with a night vision side on it. And for this you simply need to equip all the exotic gear items in every slot. That's it. Global Event 1. Outbreak. There are three masks once again, Chemist, CRBN and Trench and all have the same requirements and that's that you place in tier 1, 2 or 3 for earned global event credits per hour. Global Event 2. Assault. Once again, three masks. First off we have the Piggy. And for this one you need to complete all the crucial or major assault missions without using any medical skills. And one side note to this one is that you need to do it with another agent at least. At least one. The second mask is the hockey face mask. And for this, this is a fairly simple one. You need to kill 500 LMB during a crucial or major assault mission. Third one is happy. And for this one you need to complete all crucial or major assault missions without going down or dead. Global Event 3 Strike. We're starting off with the classic face mask. And for this you need to complete a strike mission without taking any explosive damage from an ally. And you need to do this with the modifier tactical strike. And you need to do this in a group of course because you need to be playing with allies. Otherwise it would be too easy. Next up is the jungle face mask. For this one you need to kill 150 Riker bosses during strike. That, that's any strike mission. Thirdly we have the rider face mask which is arguably the easiest of the bunch. And you need to complete a strike activity without taking any explosive damage. Both friendly or enemy explosive damage. Global event 4. Ambush. Ambush also has three face masks. First we have the bug face mask, for which you need to kill 100 enemies while moving. Secondly, you have the cage face mask, and for this you need to kill 400 enemies while stationary. So no movement at all that is. It's recommended to stay in cover then. And the third one is the haze face mask. And for this you need to kill 250 enemies whilst near an ally in strategic ambush. Those are the 15 face masks that are currently in Tom Clancy's The Division. Some are very simple, some are a little bit harder and some require you to just grind it out during an event. The hard thing is that you need to time it sometimes because not every mask is available of course during every event. So make sure to time right and keep track of when the global events are. Before ending the video, I want to know which one of the face masks is your favorite. Thank you very much for watching. And that's actually it. I hope to see you in an upcoming episode. Talk to you later.
Peace out.